Hey guys, me Sto here. Welcome back to the second episode of the 100 day challenge on Warly. Uh, let's see uh, if we can't finish building that alchemy engine today. That's where we left off. Alright, so we're going to need to find some rocks, preferably some more with gold, and uh, of course keep grabbing food as we see it. Uh, today we need to make some more food as we can, and uh, we've got a few more- ooh, do not want to mine that! Took my hand off for a second there. Do not want to mine those limpet rocks. I want those to keep producing delicious meat, meaty rocks. There may not be any more gold, so we'll just settle with some normal rocks. Uh, last time I forgot that I had uh, prefabbed my fire pit. That's that's where all my rocks went. That's a bit embarrassing. But uh, yep. Say so we're gonna push on. Try to fabricate this. We need to make four cut stones, which I believe takes twelve rocks, and uh, we need a few more boards. So here we go. We're gonna need another pickaxe, and do we have an axe? We need another axe as well. So we'll run up here to the beach, try to get some uh, some rocks for our alchemy engine. Need eight more. Oops. So we found a lot of sandy piles so far, as well as the uh, meadow biomes. So we should be set for um, making quite a few bottles and uh, sandbags. Now, I haven't seen a lot of people playing this game mate. Make a uh, make a lot of sandbags or sand using sand to make bottles. Oh, tripping all over my words today. So yeah, uh, but bottles are really important for my personal way of playing the game. Like I love I love making those buoys. So if we can find some water beefalo in their little mangrove, we're just gonna make as many buoys as we can. We're gonna go hunting for all of the. Uh, all the bioluminescence that we can get our hands on. And I skipped another rock over there, but this will give us the 12 rocks we need, as well as a bit more niter. We might leave the niter behind. We don't need that for quite a while. Oh, summer is quite a far ways away. Our crockpot and science machine is down there. So I'll move over there. Gotta make another axe. And. Yeah. Of course. Ooh! Rather than an axe, we need to prefab a shovel. We're gonna need that soon. Um, and we need to use the eggs. Uh, we could make a... a Proogie? Or... Ooh, no. No, no, no. We've got a... Uh, we've got another Warly recipe. So we can mix it up a little bit. This recipe's not actually that good. But, uh... You know, we, gotta, we gotta use some of his specialties here, you know? So I believe this mushroom is a uh, vegetable. If we cook this up instead of getting um, instead of getting uh, monster lasagna, like every other character would get. We should get monster tartare, which won't do us any damage and will give us just a little bit of food. Uh, it's actually not that good of a recipe, <laughs> considering the resources you put into it. It's pretty easy to change monster meat for something else, but uh, you know. Just gotta use our character the best way we can. We're role playing. This guy, gonna get that tartar going on. So we got this. We can make our last board and uh, start working on our rocks as well. So we're gonna make four of these. One, two, three, four. Throw this last one on the ground so we have space. Ooh, yes, our monster tartar. That 50 food, four health, and uh, 13 sanity. Oh, delicious. Magnifique. Très magnifique. Oh, let's see. Uh, let's get something else cooking. We got a... Uh, we don't have any meat anymore. And... We could make... What? Uh, fish sticks? We don't need the HP, but I do believe it is food, and I think that's the recipe. And we got those four things made, so it's science. We're gonna make our doodads. Boom. Boom! And prefab and alchemy engine. <coughs> Not gonna put the alchemy engine down. Uh, no point in that. We're gonna keep our tools over here. And try to keep things on the left. Well, we can get those rocks back now. 
And what do we need? Well, we're all here. We should keep getting wood. And, uh... We can make a better boat. I just fed you! You just had some très magnifique tartare. Stop complaining, Warly. Cooked you some nice fish sticks, too. So this guy drops some monster meat. <gasps> Excellent. So we can go ahead and make the... Always great meatballs. Uh, maybe this one gives a huge amount of health, right? Yeah. So we might save that for when we take some damage, and we'll just uh, use a bunch of our filler here. I'll try to get the most out of our inventory so we have space. That should give us our meatballs. Uh, I should really get a mod. I think I even have it on. Why just tells me? Oh, what I have? We'll save the uh, fish sticks. Those go bad fairly fast, but. Just amazing health. Amazing health for that item. That was the old go-to in uh, Reign of Giants. Or, no, before Reign of Giants. In the base game, when you needed to heal. Reign of Giants introduced Trail Mix, which is just excellent. Uh, sadly, no way to make Trail Mix in this one unless you uh, link your world. Uh, trail Mix was very cheap. No! What a ripoff! What is this? I'm gonna get all the... I forgot to dig up that last stump, too. Uh, yeah, we have our shovel now, so we should be getting our extra wood out of these. Until this, we got our meatballs. Um, let's see, we should probably do we have oops, nine foot. Oh, wasn't even looking. Right, knock this guy out. Oh, more monster meat. Shift that over. Oh, God, stop. Free wood. It's free wood. All right, so um. We'll go ahead and make a, uh, make a machete. Whoa, not that. And uh, we'll use this to, uh, chop. Chop all those, get a bunch of food. Pick this up, and... Uh, we don't have any berries, so we're going to be a little inefficient here. We'll just put all four coconuts in there. Should make us fruit medley. Oh, do I need to cook those, though? <gasps> I don't remember. Uh oh. Yep, we gotta cook those. Ah, gave us quite a bit more food than I thought. Alright, so we'll cook these up. And uh, we'll try this again. This should give us a fruit medley. Unless I'm just crazy. I might have the recipe wrong. I'll have to look it up if it's not. Uh, definitely don't want another fistful of jam. What can we do during this night? Oh, uh, there we go. Yes! Beautiful fruit medley. It's delicious. Give us just a tiny bit of hunger, but just adorable. Adorable food. Oh, we never ate our meatballs. Let's just cram those down, too. Boom! We're getting fat. Um, God. We don't need to dump anything yet. We've still only gotten 11 of these. Didn't really see any up here. We've exhausted our gold. We're going to continue exploring around our base island, this one. So there should be more islands in this this circle area, assuming that the new data on how our world gen works is correct. Is there anything else I want to prefab while I'm here? I can't think of anything. Uh, yeah, whatever. We'll, we'll make this. What? Make it. We'll make that. That's fine. Good use for a nighter. Um... Don't need our pitchfork yet. What's in here? What's in here? We can make our backpack, but we don't need that junk. We have our beautiful chef patch. Uh, structures. Uh, yeah, actually, we can do that. We can go ahead and uh, find up three of these boards. And make a chest. Get that prefab. Just so if we find a base and we want to leave some stuff behind, we can do it. This, just go ahead and make a spear. Slightly more efficient. Move that over here so it's there. And we're trying to keep things more organized. We have this one. Uh, move everything! Okay. And I think that's all we want right now. We don't really want to make any hay walls or. Uh, we could try to make a rowboat. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm sold. Rowboat's really good. 
It's a lot faster than the boat we're using, and our boat's getting a little bit weaker. We can still go farther, but we'll go ahead and do this. Grab this up. You are just a very angry bird. There's no way you can smell me from over there. Ah, oh, so, uh, in this Let's Play, uh, in the early game, there's going to be a lot more uh, strategy and techniques and uh, just the theory of what we're doing that we have to discuss. Like, why are we doing this? What are we making? A lot more exploration going on. But as we get to the, uh, to the base building part of the game, hopefully we can settle down pretty soon, there's going to be a lot more free time whenever I'm doing things on a more macro scale. Like, I'm just, I'm going to this island, I need to get some grass so I can plant it back home. And during that time, we're going to have a lot more freedom of what we talk about. we we'll be able to talk about, um, work. Can I kill you with a shovel? Boom! Shouldn't sit down. So, uh, we have a lot more to talk about then about, um, like, uh, life in Japan, if you're interested in that. Or if anyone in the comments uh, leaves a question, I'll try my best to answer it. And uh, we need to use our machete and get three vines. Is it four wood? For a boat? Four vines. Four vines. That was it. Ah. Yeah, so right now I am working as a teacher in Japan. But of course I don't want to say what company I'm working with or anything like that. But uh, it's a fairly interesting job. I do like teaching. I've been here about a little over two years now a little over two years and uh, it's still a very interesting job let's uh, refine our boards there's no room so let's drop on the floor that's fine and we'll stack them to the roof walk over here and we'll make our robot uh, while we're here we could make a sail as well just keep chopping bamboo cloth sail cloth sail <gasps> Alchemy engine. I don't feel like making a thatch sale. All right, so we're gonna pick up our crock pot, and we're piecing out. We're gonna piece out. Uh, we're gonna go this direction. That's our starting island. So we want to go this way. Uh, it seems really rare for your starting island to have um, spiders on it. So that's always that's quite bizarre. But maybe I'm wrong. It's the first time I've seen it. Uh, I don't have that many hours in uh, shipwrecked. I think I have. About three or four hundred hours in um, basic. In basic, don't starve. We're gonna go ahead and throw away this rock and drop that rock. And trade this with our crock pot. We can move while we're doing this. Be a little more efficient. Keep our crock pot on one. That's the place I like it. And, uh, since we already dropped that, let's go ahead and grab these seaweed. We probably won't be back. And I think it's been long enough since we've had California rolls. So we'll try to make those next island we get to. Uh, we of course have this, which we can use. We could kill these guys. We don't have the space for it unless we get rid of this nitrate. Let's get rid of this nitrate. So we can kill these guys now, knowing that we have a, uh, a way to free heal once we get up. So that's 10 damage, yeah. See, so you'll take exactly 10 damage, and any character who isn't worried can just eat the jellyfish raw, and it'll give you 10 hunger, 10 health. So it's basically free free food. Uh, we want to go this direction. We'll try to stay in the shallows. Is that... Stay in the shallows. See what we can find. There's more seaweed here. Is there another island already? Or is this just because of the other one? Maybe there's coral here. Also, killing these jellyfish will maybe allow it to spawn um, floaty boat nights. And we really want to get our gears. Uh, gears are less important on Warly. We can actually craft our uh, chef pouch up here. And, oh, this is not good. Uh, did not plan for how late it was going to be. So we need to find our island. We don't want to have to sit out here with a torch at night. That would not be good. We should have a... Uh, since we have this 21% torch, we should have made a boat torch. That would have been something really good to do with the uh, science machine while we had it. But uh, we gotta get out there, we gotta get our adventuring going, we gotta find our home base. 
maybe we're too close to our home island, so we'll come a little to the right, because we're trying to get this circle going. Is that... Ooh, suspicious bubbles. Um, don't want to do that right now. I have no way to fix up my boats. We do have our backup boats. So as I recommended, you want to prefab these. On, uh, it would have been really smart for me to go ahead and make another rowboat while I was there. But exploring in the early days is really important. It's got a small chance of rain. There's lots of these guys here. Uh, maybe I will... No, I gotta get to land. I gotta get to land. So we should be getting closer to land. Here we are. Perfect. We want to get off of the beach because we're getting closer to the full moon. So the tides are going to come in a little bit farther. And uh, hopefully we can use the night usefully try to find something here. Do we have... We don't even have enough for a fire. Oh, we did not plan this. Chop this tree. Run. Do it, do it, do it. It's stressful. It's not actually that stressful. You can alternate between a... Uh, between a torch and chopping down a tree fairly easily. Basic techniques. Uh, we're going to keep running just a little bit with our pretty much broken torch. And uh, we're going to try to put this down here. And... Uh, go ahead and save that torch. Chop down some trees. Be pretty efficient with our time. We're not doing anything with these tree seeds. And wow, that tide is coming in even farther than I thought. Uh, it shouldn't come up to where we are. Like, we're right in the center of this pretty small landmass. Yeah, we should be good. Wow. Yeah, so as you approach the full moon, and especially on the full moon, tides come in really ridiculously far. And, uh, this silence looking to be not that great. I really hope it doesn't kill that. We'll go ahead and pick up this free flint. And uh, we have our shovel. I'm still not digging up the stumps. Gotta get back in the habit of that. Uh, we just gotta transition to the point where... Is this like a little X, a Y-shaped island? X-shaped? Let's find out. This looks pretty cool. Uh, no, no, not the shape I thought I had. That would have been pretty cool. Uh, here's another small beach. Wow. Let's see. Yeah, this is where it's flooding in from the tides. Okay. Yeah, and he, as you see, it doesn't flood as much. It doesn't flood from, like, the jungle biome, but it floods onto the beach all the time. Uh, do I have my shovel on? Yes, I do. Don't want that on. Well, let's take this. Uh, go ahead and eat these, well, trade. That's our food, all our health back from uh, these guys. And that, that's it. This island kind of sucks. Go ahead and grab these seeds. Shell. Yeah, so shells should be pretty common today because we just had a really high tide and uh, the tides are what spawn the shells where they can spawn. But as you can see on the mini-map, I think that shows where they are able to spawn. Uh, there's really not much here, so we're we're just going to peace out. we go to a new island. This one didn't seem that good. It's got an interesting shape, but it's so thin that it's just super prone to flooding. Uh, this is an island that you could, uh, in theory... Uh, wall off the usable area you want with um with sandbags that way you'll just uh always you won't have to deal with any kind of flooding at all especially if you tile everything and again we're going to continue going around our island in this circle we should be on the same progression so we're going to try to go northeast never eat sorry, northwest northwest one day we should make a compass. We should make a compass. It's a completely useful item, not a waste of gold or anything like that. I don't think I've ever made one, actually. Maybe I did when I first started. Or maybe as a source of sanity at some point. Let's see. Well, hopefully the waves are not tricking us and they're actually going in our direction. We can uh, catch some waves. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, super dark. We might find a swordfish. Ooh. Uh, yeah, let's kill it. Boom. Got it. 
up. We're just gonna put that there. We'll eat these even though it doesn't do much for me. Come over here. Grab our Ooh, a bunch of limpets. Ooh, some bioluminescence here. That's always great to find. Plus a dogfish. And yes. So with swordfish, they will actually continue spawning here. This is a spawn point for the swordfish. So if we come back here in a few days, there should be a, another one there. So we can actually continuously get Cutlass Supremes from that, which is just an exceptional weapon, especially against Seal Nato, where it gets uh, like 50% bonus damage. Um, let's see. We keep traveling this direction. More bioluminescence to map out. That is great. If we can find our... Uh, our dream marsh biome with the oh my goodness this is a lot of bioluminescence and it is right next to an island <gasps> oh just just imagine for a moment if this had our water beefalo just imagine if this this marsh biome has our water beefalo how how sick would that be we could live the dream but it doesn't look like it does oh well Still, these biomes are always very nice. They have uh, usually shoals, but I'm not seeing any right now. Oh, there are some. This is a huge marsh, or a huge uh, mangrove marsh biome. Wow. Oh, and there are some fish. Come up here, get more limpets. This, this looks like the best island we've seen, but I still want to find that poop. The poop is the dream. I think he already respawned. So we can keep him in here. We have more time than most players to go and find a uh, another place I want to build a science machine or alchemy engine. Uh, we have our alchemy engine. If I get the wood, I could or the rocks, I could make another science machine fairly easy. at the one gold, but I need the gold to make the cutlass supreme. So we're gonna try to save this gold. We just need to find a place that we can set up. There's another. Does this loop around? Or is that just? Two islands touching. A little like, huh? This could be cool. I'm just gonna explore around this island. Um, we do need to eat fairly soon, so I don't know if tonight it would be uh, very smart to just um, just run through the night with a torch. But that's what I'm feeling we need to do because uh, this island's fairly big. But we want to map it out, see what we have. So that huge. Huge, uh, huge mangrove. Oh my goodness. That's big. Oh, this jungle's fairly big. Oh, it's got some snakes, just normal rocks, trees, monkeys, standard fare, no spiders. I haven't seen any. Uh, prob maybe, maybe there are some inwards. They're pretty common in the jungle, but spiders in general are a lot more rare and shipwrecked. And they're just such a good source of food if you have them. <laughs> Almost. Almost! So how are we doing on everything? Prefabbed boats, good. Trees just telling us, go away. Wonderful. Let's see. Alright, so this seems to be the entire island. We'll hop on our boat and run over to that connecting island. This is a pretty cool layout. Like, I do like this place. I don't like that as monkeys. And, uh... <coughs> Oh, don't like that it has the monkeys, but I do definitely like how big this mangrove is. We're still going to look for the fabled uh, fabled uh, water bee flow. That is our goal. And uh, hopefully their island is good. I've seen a lot of water bee flow islands that are not, not good at all. It's just so sad. If they were in this, this would be the dream. This would be so good. All the resources we need. We s oh, we did. We did see a uh, magma biome, right? No, we haven't. Wow. We have only found like three different biomes, four different biomes. We've not found any kind of magma or... Uh, yeah, that's no bueno. Some more limpets. Maybe we'll just camp out here. Not quite the full moon. And uh, we can get some more seashells. Excellent. 
Yeah, I think we're just gonna run a little farther inland and uh, camp for the night. We do have pig houses. Pig houses are an excellent find. Is that three pig houses? Pig houses are excellent find with Warley. Uh, he can eat meaty stew like a champ. He is one of the best meaty stew eaters in the world. Uh, it never wastes. Never wastes. He heals over 150 because of his bonus. I think that would mean it's uh, what, two, 200 food? Gives him 200 food. And that actually lasts long enough that you can just eat it every two days and he'll stay full. Maybe you mix in one other meal in between. But uh, meaty stew is basically the dream and pigs really help you make that dream. Delectable. Right, we did pass that time. Um, perhaps we can make another butterfly muffin. Uh, do we have any veggies? Is that seafood? And uh, we can put in some sticks. Might not have been long enough for this. We'll just try to get it out of the way. If it's not, no big loss. Those are pretty cheap materials. So, let's make it something. Let's make it that. Of course, we want to keep our limpets. We gotta get rid of this uh, this egg somehow. If we had a second egg, we could try to make bacon and eggs. So, kill that pig. Here we go. Alright, that's our 20, 20 of those. Oh, and it's day 7. So, we're going to have to stop it here, guys. And uh, I will catch you in the next episode. Otsukare sama desu.